But I'm, I, you know what? I'm telling you, that now the camera cut off. I'm done. I'm not even doing it. No, no the camera cut off. Calm down. The, Calm the down. camera cut. All right. Calm down. To paraphrase the last story, Area 51, they don't know how to read. They have aliens. There's been confessions about aliens and reverse engineering. And they think that the guy was lying to his audience. He was on his deathbed, not on stage. Why do I have these stupid stories to cover? Calm down, calm down, calm down. It's fine. Tell me the last story isn't something stupid. Tell me the last story and something stupid. Keep going, it'll be fine. Calm down. Dailybuzzlive.com. Feel free to call the correct views anytime. <laughs> Human Resources Manager, <laughs> right here. Woman hospitalized to remove deer tongue she used to please herself. A woman hospitalized to remove deer tongue. She used to please herself. Why didn't he give the story to Thor? A woman from Little Rock, Arkansas is now recovering from a bizarre chain of events. <laughs> bizarre. In events that led to doctors to find the tongue of a deer lodged into her vagina. The Arkansas woman, whose name has not been released, Went to the gynecologist complaining her discharge of a very bad odor. I'm not doing this! A very bad odor. Like a, like a body in the floor. An odor like a coming out of her. Should have gave it to Thor. Her doctor performed a typical exam checking for several different issues that could have been causing the problem. All tests were negative. You should not use your vagina like a deer lick. The doctor was not at all concerned about her complaints until results of the pap smear came back. The report indicated that the cells taken from the pap smear were not human. It could not determine the origin of the cells, but they knew was that they were not human cells. How do you know she wasn't from 151? 151. No, I feel like that idiot drinker. Why did they give me these stupid stories? The doctor requested that the woman come back for the repeat exam to discuss the findings. During the exam, the doctor inserted a speculum and scooped out a large piece of loose, decaying flesh. <laughs> but it was like ripped in shirt. The doctor was disturbed with what he had found. During the exam, I was utterly shocked with what I had found. Never in my 33 years of practice have I ever seen anything like this. Dr. Lee told the American Journal of Forensic Medicine and Pathology, when I removed from the woman, it looked like a long tongue, but certainly not a human tongue. Then she admitted that her husband, after the exam, was even more disturbing. The woman finally confessed the dreaded details to her husband. After her husband's recent hunting trip, he brought home a deer and gutted it and dressed it in the garage. She admitted to seeing the tongue, admired its length, and had snuck off to use it as a pleasing aid. She did not remember leaving it there. So she must have passed out. <laughs> I don't know why he gave me the story. But you're listening to the Halloween edition of The Correct Views. Arger Mortis signing off. You can donate at The Correct Views at Hotmail.com. And if you do, it'll be better. Because it's easier to change characters. But you don't have to.